Hello everyone, Creative Inners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and look at this beautiful circle at the center and I hope you really enjoy this. Please subscribe to our channel, join the membership. Now let's begin with the tutorial. Now the first step is to design a background, a gradient background. You can pick any uh, gradient background and post that you have to insert this circle. Make sure you have removed its outline and fill white color and go to shadow effects and apply shadow and you can change the settings here now duplicate this circle here slightly increase its size and transparency and send it to back behind the main circle Now again duplicate, further increase its size, send to back and, and now you have this beautiful circular design at the center. Now draw a line, apply or fill white color on the line, align center, align middle, slightly reduce its height and again align it properly then send to back and duplicate and what you can do is you can rotate it to either left or right again to the alignment and post that send to back I hope that's easy now again insert a circle place it at the center and remove its fill and make sure it fits inside the main circle now fill the gradient line and we need a two gradient stops and fill colors from the color palette you can change the gradient direction by using one of the presets whatever you like now create a new slide or you can duplicate the same slide and remove all the things that you have created now insert this shape place it at the center and what you have to do is drag this yellow dot to reduce its arc then remove its outline and pick the eyedropper tool to fill one of the blue color and now we need a stand for this or a base for this arc and why do we need this because we want to apply the spin animation and for that you have to place it behind this arc remove its outline and its fill as well make sure both these shapes are grouped together in order to group these you have to press ctrl plus g so here you can add the animation the spin animation and you can see it's spinning now just copy it and place it on the main slide and make sure it is well aligned as you can see on your screen now you can create n number of copies and the animation the spin animation you know you don't have to add the animation again and again because the animation is already applied on this shape and you can just copy and paste the shape as we are doing it now you can see now let's change its color to white increase the transparency and here you can play with the colors until you get the desired result so I'm just experimenting So here is the color palette that I have created using shapes. Now send to back and you can see this tech driven circle is now looking really beautiful. Now the third circle you have to send it to back. So it gives a very 3D kind of look that 
these small arcs are embedded between these three white circles. Now again we have duplicated it and reduced its arc. So the steps are similar. You just have to duplicate it, then change its shape and arc and change its color and then send to back. Now again duplicate this arc, align to middle and increase its arc here and we now will change the color. So these are just random placements. You can place it around this circular shape anywhere you want and you can change the you know length of the arc as per your own creative thoughts. And meanwhile, if you think it's looking really nice, please subscribe to our channel and join the membership as well. So that will really help us, motivate us. Now go to the new slide and let's create another component. And for that, you have to insert this arc, change the color to white. Now let's experiment with the line type here. So you can play with these options here to create different styles. So I'm just trying to change the width and the dash type here. Now insert the circle, we will attach the circle with this arc so that we can again spin this make sure both are well aligned slightly increase the you know height and width of the arc by dragging it from the corner with the help of shift button now group both these shapes and make sure the circle is invisible you have to remove its fill and outline but it's there now paste it here send to back slightly increase its size so that it becomes visible now you can increase its arc length or decrease it i'm just trying to see that where it will look nice Slightly reduce its width, the width was too much. Also reduce its transparency because the white color was looking very loud. Now duplicate this arc and increase its arc length. And slightly increase its size as well but not too much. So all the items here are randomly placed. There is no such logic. All you have to do is just experiment with the things here. And now let's insert another shape. Here, let's do it on a new slide so that everything is clean and easy to do. You have to insert this hollow circle and reduce its width. Now insert this shape because we want to create a small arc and we have to cut it out from this hollow circle. So duplicate this hollow circle and we will subtract it with this main shape. So I made a mistake here, 
you have to send this hollow circle to back and now select both these shapes and press subtract now you have this small cutout remove its outline and change the color to white increase the transparency now select both these shapes and make sure to remove the outline and fill for the main hollow circle and group these together and paste it on the main slide and make sure it is well aligned now you can easily rotate it and place it randomly anywhere you want slightly increase its height and width from the corner now again insert a circle here align to center align to middle change the outline to white remove its fill increase the width increase the transparency slightly increase or reduce its let's reduce its height and width now duplicate this arc that we had created make sure it is aligned and you can rotate it and reduce its height and width and let's try to change its color so decrease its transparency and now you can see our circle is looking really beautiful and it has that 3d kind of look and feel it looks like that layers are stacked together from top to bottom and we are having that top view so you can use it for any kind of processing my some uh, slide related to data mining or some technology so you can definitely use this kind of approach now select all these three circles and make sure that these circles are not grouped ungroup all the items and then group these items to make sure that you can select all of these together and adjust the height and width as per the area of the slide now I, now i have further reduced its height and width because i need to place the text here on the left and right side of the infographic now the design is complete what i am doing at the moment is is just polishing the items doing some adjustment some alignment and some color changes so these are some things that you can do of course as per your own thoughts and theme of the in you know, a topic of your presentation now let's create a text box and that's the most easiest part so here you can be as much creative as you want so let's insert this rounded rectangle and fill white color apply shadow effect so i just used the format painter button from the circle at the center and pasted that format painter button onto that uh, on the rounded rectangle then i copied the circle at the center with just only the outline and pasted here at the text box now insert the text box and here you can write the headline and the description 
i hope till now this tutorial is easy to understand of course the design looks complex but trust me it's very easy if you design it as per your own random style you have to place the things randomly but on your own don't follow the steps that i have done just take the technique just pick the points that i have explained here and create your own circle with your own thoughts and placements then you will achieve a good design now i have placed the description and i have used the monster at font you can try different font styles as well make sure every text box and text item is aligned with the shapes that you have created now we need to fill a nice icon here so we have inserted this icon in office 365 we have got this option to insert icons and i kind of use it a lot now just duplicate it n number of times if your presentation slide has four points you can keep four text boxes if you need six you can keep six but make sure the numbers are you know even because you have to place the text box on, on both side of the info infographic at the center you can add the text uh, showcasing the title of the slide so here you can see i have given that most importance to the alignment here you can change the color of this icon here Here you can try the gradient effect as well if you want. So I'm just trying to see if it looks good. I think our design is complete and you can see it's looking really beautiful. So I'll cover the video in two parts. Why? Because in this part we will cover the design, in the second part we will cover the animation. And you can see and you have learned in this part that I have already added the animation on these arcs. On the next, in the next part we will animate this circle completely. So I hope you will like this design. Please share this video with the maximum number of people you have in your circle. And here is the final output which we will achieve in our next video. Till then, bye bye, see ya. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel which is very important and join the membership. And wait for the second part, I'll upload it soon.